We are on the left side. We have once again our British team, SK Gaming. British team? Well, <laughs> we have a British right? player, therefore we claim it. Yep, I think I think we can do so. Hey, come on, you got. We gotta give you guys something. We do. do okay, that, like, quite a lot. In the mid lane, we have Aragi playing Tychus, Zamini playing Arthas, Link playing Uther, and Five, in the top lane, four, Bakery three, uh, playing two, Bella and BZ one. playing Malfurion. And on the right hand side, in the red trunks, it is going to be Team Alternate Attacks. And starting in the top lane, we have Mopsio on the Muradin. It is Gusio on the Sergeant Hammer. It is Krolu on the Brightwing. In the mid lane, heading to the bot lane though, it is Vasilino on the Frawl. And in the mid lane, coming from the bot lane, it is Glue Hammer on the Tassadar. That's the entirety of Team Alternate. Um, looks like we have a 3-3-1-1 mix up here in the lanes. And Alternate already getting in a really good position here with Lucio in top sitting sitting in there. But Mopsio needs He's to save up. him. It's <laughs> kind of kind of dangerous sitting there. So far they're doing quite well. And they have that heal from Kolo to keep Gucci on top of things. Yep, SK though going very, very aggressive onto Gucio. They know he is the biggest threat. It's going to be Gucio or Brightwing that will be the targets here. Muradin has roamed out of lane a bit here to grab that watchtower, but has made his way back up. And the reason people are running the party lane in the top lane on this map is because the first two shrines always, or temples, sorry, on this map, always spawn in the top and middle lane. So starting in the top lane is between the two temples, so they can decide where they want to roam to in the most efficient way possible. It looks like SK may be deciding to go for the mid one. Wow, that jump by Mopsio, I was not aware that jump was uh, makeable. But that was very cool. But it looks like SK are going for the uh, but for the middle shrine, whereas alternate have already taken the top shrine. Yep, and you have two players in there. Um, in the beginning, it's kind of hard to um, solo the guardians, the defenders. But um, with Guccio in the back, Krolu can definitely take this. A couple more defenders will step into the ring here, but uh, they're going to be just fine dealing with this. And yeah, Guccio returning to lane. Linked will need some backup here, otherwise they can really push this lane hard. It looks like Mopsio will try to contest this. Uh, bot lane, just very quickly, I'm drawing your attention to the bot lane. Vaselino has been envenomed. He has got a little bit of health. Oh, I wow. thought Zarmini was going to continue that. One more auto would have done it. But instead, he chose to back out. He might be looking for the root here. He really wants it. Deathcore, lads. There's the root. If he goes in, no, the root from Vaselino, lads, as well. And neither player getting the advantage here. Right now, though, there's a fight in the middle lane. Alternate looking to try and steal the last few shots from SK. But SK holding that temple for all they are worth. A lot of players seem to consider the middle temple a bit more important because the middle lane is obviously that makes much more sense to get that pushed because then you have a bit more map control around the rest of the map. But usually I see the um, bot lane being pushed the hardest later on because you just have the boss down there. Yeah, that's accidental because the boss exists. Yeah, that's I think like one of the most important lanes. But yeah, in the uh, in the beginning I would agree uh, going for the mid temple seems like a good idea. Yeah. Alternate, it's also, uh, it also means that uh, it kills the middle buildings first, so it bounces around from top to bottom more. So if you grab the top of the bottom temple, it does just get more coincidental pushing done. That's nice. Really nice. Uh, SK, uh, so far, almost half a level ahead here in the experience game. Oh, Lynx uh, might be in trouble here. It's getting criticized. But they will have to back off uh, with BZ being there. The double supports there are almost impossible to take out with some really solid CC. Yep. Having a look at some of the talents here, very, very standard stuff here from pretty much everyone. Thrall, pretty standard, reduces the Wind Fury. He's gone for Envenom on his second talent, which is what a lot of Thralls are going for these days, just being super aggressive. Aragi, this is not a position he maybe wants to be in. Mopsio reveals him, but he's able to dash away, does not get stunned. You would not want to get caught between a Muradin and a Thrall, but with the dash, he's able to escape. Next tribute, uh, next uh, temple, sorry, spawns in this bottom lane. So this is why a lot of the players are grouping up here. SK currently with less players down, but they are trying to get some timing going by taking these top bruisers, which is what a lot of teams are doing these days. Get those bruisers going. So while the temple fight happens, you do have uh, you have some kind of counter push going. Gucio yeah, though like is this. the person like for it. yeah. Gucio is the person for alternate though in the top lane. So he's going to be the one who's going to be able to clear these up. But the question is, can he clear them up quick enough to go help his team at the temple, or is he just not going to bother? Looks like he's just going to ignore them completely and start heading his way, making his way down, so that he's with his team for the temple. SK 
also beginning to shuffle their feet all the way down to the bottom lane. Yeah, and we have the Colnan Mule being taken by uh, Marfurion. Pretty nice. Um, yeah. yeah, interesting to see that, but uh, it's possible, of course, when you have double support to go for these kind of styles. And looks like Alternate will be the first one to go for this bottom temple. But Vaziano is backing off. They have Sergeant Emmer in the mix now. Oh, Krolu and Vaziano caught out here in the left side. Oh, Krolu will be focused down. Trying Bakery did just get away. envenomed. Heal comes out from Ufa. Vasilino going low, but the, te the Guardian oh, almost saved it there. Oh, will go down here in the top lane. Uh, oh, Mafuri taken out in Bart. A one for one for now. Bakery catching a little bit of the storms here on the left side. And Zangu trying to push back Uchios. Really aggressive stance here. Yeah, he has they, full health. He is one. He's an assassin on full health. He's just playing super aggressive right now. But it looks like Alternate are deciding that they are in fact going to give this up. They lost one of their damage dealers in the shape of Thrall, whereas SK only really lost one of their two supports. They were still in a pretty nice position there. So Alternate wisely, in my opinion, deciding to back off here. They were also short on ultimates, so did not want to take that risk. They're going to head to the top lane clear up what's left of that bruiser camp, likely grab their own bruiser camp, but they also need to be very careful of SK. Oh, one Gucci killing Gucci over here. Uh, coming in to help him out, and it is enough. This mid fort is in trouble though. Yeah. So Already they out might of also ammo, end the point. Low. But they can keep it for now. Jordan is coming out to help here in the mid lane as well. Ball taking control of bot lane again, but he might have to rotate up as well. And now only Krolo remains for the defense here. Like they can't really save this fort after all. Yep, Zarmany has come down to the bot lane just to make sure he's soaking the XP so that his team does not lose the lead that they have. Down goes that fort to a single auto attack from BZ, in fact. Malfurion auto attacks, well known to be the best auto attacks. And we are seeing Alternate taking their <laughs> taking their bruiser cap as well. Next Tremple, I believe, is top and bot or just mid? I cannot remember which. I think it's just mid. I think top and bot is the one after that, but I'm not sure. Uh, top yeah, and bot is it's, it's what I think it's just those two next depending on, it just depends on which order. I still haven't memorized it. Vasilino taking some damage in this bottom lane. Divide Storm goes down. There's the Raid of Vengeance and Krolu has just teleported into a death pit. Teleports yeah. straight into the Raid of Vengeance and gets annihilated being taken out super quick. But, however, Alternate making the most out of this, they are going to be able to take down this top fort with no congestion at all thanks to that Bruiser Camp and the Sergeant Hammer. They're now beginning to roam their way down. SK, using this as an opportunity of all those players up there to take the boss. They're actually not killing it very quickly, though, and here comes Alternate. This could oh, be their chance. There, there comes the back. Oracle out of Blue Hammer and the Storm here right on the boss. Link. Bozio. Good stop them. Bozio needs to jump in. There's the route that might save it. Zarbany going to do it, and Bozio jumps in, but he's too slow. He is now caught well out of position. It's going to be Gusio though, that's taking all of the overdrive from Tigers. But Tigers dives into three people here. He might go down in exchange, and he does. Dying to the sun to Examity. It's continuing to give chase here, but it's four versus four. Vasilino backing up, looking for his engagement. Nice knockback from Gusio there to prevent the Link from charging in for the chase. And it looks like this chase from SK is now over. Nice disengage there by Alternate, but they were not able to prevent that boss from being taken. Yeah, really good retreat. Murden jumped in there a second too late, otherwise they could have gotten that boss. And it is top and bottom temples uh, that are appearing now. Alternate will go for the top temple, SK just opting to go for the bot temple, since they do know, okay, uh, Alternate will have to deal with this boss, so they're kind of preoccupied in the bot lane. And boss has been taken care of, Gucci being pushed back here by a little tornado. But they will join Thrall in the top lane to take that, tri uh, take that shrine. It looks like they're also having a look at their mercenaries. Linked, going to be able to scout out that this is being taken, think thinking about stealing it himself, but instead, actually, he's going to start trying to steal it himself. He has Beezy with him. Lucio will be fighting this on his own. Muradin is near, but choosing not to come down yet. Lucio just going to back up, and SK are going to be able to steal this easy camp. Tychus, already going to be starting on their hard camp. No, no, he's not. Just mounting up and choosing to run past it. Really surprised that Mirrodin didn't help out here. I mean, uh, the mid lane was gone anyway, so he could have gone down there and helped out you Sergeant Hammer because she was in a kind of useless position, to be power. honest. She couldn't engage Turn those two, and um, just all by herself, she couldn't move out into the lane and grab some XP anyway, so... Now we have four Siege Shines in this bottom lane, and they will not need to be dealt with. All heroics are available, so they could go for this. SK 
wisely backing off now that the Sea Giants are gone. Mobtia okay. though, diving in. He needs to land the stun, does not land it. He rewinds. Can he get the stun out? He pops his ultimate. There's the Sundering coming down. Does land on Link. Link try to get out, but he will go down. Raid of Vengeance does hit Vasilino though. Healing Ward is down as well as the Tranquility, and there's no way you beat that much healing. Vasilino is going to go down. BZ taking a lot of damage, but is just tanking his way through it. Bakery sitting in the background, just laying down the damage here. That was a that was a three for zero, almost a four for zero if Gucio had been caught there, but he's going to be able to back out. SK probably won't get much of a push down from this because they have no minions with them, but getting those kills, increasing their XP lead, and now they're just going to rotate to mid lane, clear up this wave, and get their own hard camp. To be honest, uh, they could have just went out after they took out uh, Uther. Um... I think this could have been a really good fight for Alternate, but they just stuck stuck around for too long. They wanted too much. Tried to go for um, tried to go for the kill on Vala and Morfurion, who were kind of low, but not low enough. And they were still fighting on that bridge, which is not a good position. We'll have a look at that battle later on. Now SK definitely has the upper hand. They're level 17. They have that vital level 16 talent. They're pushing top lane, and they have a double scone skin and blood for blood on you Vala. Said it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Oh dear. Uh, right now though, SK moving in. They want to steal this. No one went into this. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? A free Why? steal? Why? Double bruisers? Okay. Why? Why okay. would they just give that up? All right. Not going to question it. SK moving into the, <laughs> moving into the mid lane. Gonna be taking this temple. I have no idea why they did that. I assume they knew SK was coming and they decided to give him the bruises rather than die, but I think they could have got it. They had the time. Monsio taking a lot of damage here. He's popped his avatar to try and do any damage he can. Nice Sundering actually hits all members of SK. In comes Link though. Divine Storm hits two members. The fight continues. Tranquility is doing a lot of healing. Our Ruggy is mini Odin right now. He's trying to chase down onto Gloohammer, trying to pick him off. He's being dropped very low. One more! No, looks like he may be able to escape here, thanks to his shields. And SK do manage to pick off Krolu in the end. But, and they were able to have control of that shrine, thanks to Link to Link, keeping control of that. And we're going to see Bakery head up to the top plane with BZ to take control of the top shrine as well. They're going to be doing huge amounts of damage yeah, to Ultimate Space. They just have way better control in the battles here. Um, the Divine Storm just hits so well, and... For some reason, Sergeant Hammer not really getting the tough shots onto SK. See, see the thing, I, I, would, uh, I would agree that she's not landing as much as she can, but she is landing a lot of damage. We can in fact have a look at the damage tab and see that she's got 29k hero damage and 37 siege damage. Siege damage not as important in this scenario, of course, because Tychus has 53, <laughs> but she's uh, she is landing her damage. The thing is, it's not enough. Yeah, if we have a look at the healing, 36,000 from Malfurion, 20,000 from Ufa. Whereas on the other side, it's 14k, which is still nice from a ta uh, considering it is a Tassadar. And someone who almost always leads in the healing chart, Brightwing, with 27k healing behind the Malfurion by almost 10,000 healing. Yep. It's just the double double support is just so incredibly strong. Tranquility, um, healing, t healing ward, life seed. So life seed mannerless healing just walk past a teammate and they start to heal fantastic ability here and uh, uh, oh, alternate i like set up this a nice trap i like this it works. Oh, doesn't care the though he just walks in. Zami is caught out there on the left side and trying to go for him he comes to the main advantage and stopping Vaziano quite low he might go down but there's the shield keeping the life a little bit longer he does go down though and Zami trying to push back going towards Guccio Guhammer also getting a little bit of damage there and Murden is taken out on the left side Blue Hammer trying to get away. There's a the phase shift. Agri trying to go for it. He can do it. There's a slow coming in the cross shot. He goes down. Mm -hmm. We're going to see Guccio escape though. Krolu. Oh, managing to blink heal to Guccio. Does not get rooted by BZ there. SK though, going to be moving on to this bottom keep and beginning to take that at oh, Rocky, Just not caring. Going to be tanking it all. We'll just accept the passive healing. There is a passive heal there from Malfurion. And they will take this down. And goes the it's first still eight second seconds here on Murden. And without Murden, it's kind of hard to go um, for these battles. So I think yeah. SK might push it here. They're not going to go see. for the core here. They are, however, going to take this third keep, and that will mean catapults in every lane. Down it goes, and they will back out here. The Siege Giants are going to do a little shield damage, but Alternate will have no trouble in clearing those up. However, SK is about now has an open boss. 
which if they wanted to fight, they could take, but instead they're going to go for the temple, which is 100% free damage onto the opponent's core. There is nothing left for those shots to hit except the core. They have to. And there we go. Oh, that brute is in a perfect spot with Hover Siege. There's no way Gucci is not going to get rooted here. That's going to keep him out of range of the But there's a double root onto the and now the storm onto all three of them. Blue Hammer will go down here, and it's only Guccio and Mopsio maybe making it out of here. Krolu is still fired above their Blink Heal onto Mopsio to get the healing done. I'm not sure where that Arcane Barrage was going, but it didn't really hit anything. Guccio staying alive thanks to Krolu, but while all this is happening, of course, taking damage. Shield is about to go off. There's three catapults in the top lane. Mopsio is clearing those. Now. Yep, and in the meantime, SK everywhere at once. We're seeing Ufa and Bakery in the main base of the enemy team, just getting some harassment down, actually going for the core here, just harassing it and keeping alternate on their toes and in their base. Whereas in the bo in the jungle here, Araragi and Beezy are taking the Grave Golem and in the middle lane, Zarmany is soloing the temple on his own here. And there's G, not GG, 5%, it's not dead yet. Bakery, oh, what happened? There's the GG, SK Gaming takes this. Oh, the temple. <laughs> and moves on to the round of eight. I was wondering what killed it there. It was like everyone stopped moving on five, and I was like, uh, what happened here? But the temple got the final shot. And like you said, that is GG SK moving on to the quarterfinals, taking out 